The book launch of the Islamic Palette of Azerbaijan by the head of the Department of Conflict Resolution at the Institute for Peace and Democracy, Ali Pinusov, took place on Monday at the Diplomat Hotel. His first monograph, Islam in Azerbaijan, was published in 2004. According to Yunusov, he predicted a gradual strengthening of Islam as a political factor in Azerbaijan. This assumption was based on sociological studies showing that the majority of the supporters of Islam are young people. On the other hand, the policy of suppressing human rights causes concern among the secular democratic values and promotes the growth of religious sentiment. According to Yunusov, at the end of the Soviet Union, only between 2 and 3 percent of the country's Muslims fully complied with the requirements of Islam, prayer, regular attendance at mosques, etc. But by the beginning of the 2000s, this figure rose to 10 percent and now it is up to 20 percent. However, he refrained from further predictions of Islam's influence on political processes in Azerbaijan. According to Yunusov, believers are split into three major groups, Shiites, Salafis, and Urdu. They do not have a single and a charismatic leader. At the same time, the country pursues the same secular segments of society as well as believers. These groups do not overlap yet, but at some point their unity against the repressive and anti-democratic policies of the authorities will become inevitable. And then it is possible that the Islamic factor will be used and will become dominant. By using violence, the authorities will inevitably be faced with retaliatory violence, the author believes. By using violence, the authorities will inevitably be faced with retaliatory violence, the author believes. Many of the collected materials that author had originally planned to include in the book, such as surveys, interviews, roundtables, materials, and other documents, were lost during the illegal demolition of the Institute for Peace and Democracy on August 11, 2011.